My name is Sean Rice. I'm a director of uh, data engineering and analytics at HashiCorp, and I get to manage uh, the entirety of our data tech stack. I'm Francis. I manage the data and analytics team at HashiCorp. So my team and I work very closely with the business to understand the problems they're trying to solve for, and we help do that uh, through data and our BI tools. I put Four Sigma was, we had all the classic challenges that teams have, right? Disparate data sources, disparate use cases, unclear alignment. And that was really the stage and Sigma can come in and help us solve those things with just being easier to use, quite frankly. Going back to probably like 2018 or 2019 with the advent of like cloud data warehouses like Snowflake, I think we realized that the current solutions were not necessarily designed for that that architecture, that ecosystem. I think one of the biggest problems we were trying to solve for moving into Sigma was the siloed data sets that kind of spread all over. So that could be random Excel sheets people have built, that could be just dashboards that people have spun up once, like, 10 years ago and it's still being used by an exec. Sigma is not only easy for our stakeholders to use, it's easy for us as like practitioners of data to use. So we really value that as well. I think one of the reasons they like Sigma is the flexibility, the ease of use, and the fact that they can use the same tool as their stakeholder because in the past, that wasn't always the case. So now we know when people go into Sigma, the data is up to date, it's validated, it's, you know, it's people who know what they're doing and they understand the data. Um, and we don't have to worry about an exec going, you know, opening up a dashboard and not realizing someone hasn't touched it in five years. So we're tracking things like the number of active users, which is much higher than our incumbent. We're tracking stats um, like the, uh, the rendering of certain dashboards, like critical C-suite reporting and things like that. And those are all uh, much improved versus the other, um, our, our previous tool. So Sigma um, as a BI tool, I wanna say, has been very easy to pick up. It's been very easy for us to help enable our analytics community at HashiCorp um, for a few reasons. The, the tool itself is very intuitive. It has a much shorter learning curve, in my opinion, and other BI tools I've been experienced with. And I think the largest maybe um, kind of feature that Sigma has, in my opinion, is I know I can always reach someone if I have a question. With Sigma, we really try to drive home like, hey, go talk to Sigma because they're the experts. You can reach them. Um, and we've always said, go use the chat function. Um, and in this particular instance, I think the analyst thought it was chat as in like a phone. So they Google like Sigma phone number found a number on Google, called it, and I think within like 30 seconds or something, someone picked up, like a live person, not even a robot. Um, and she was like, hey, I have a bunch of Sigma questions. The guy was like, sure, shoot me. Um, and they just talked on the phone and he just, he or she, I don't really know, um, answered all of the questions that our analysts had. She mentioned to us like, hey, by the way, the the phone feature is awesome. And I was like, phone feature? I, <laughs> I was referring to like live chat on, on the web and, and that was something that like I think surprised not just us, but um, our Sigma reps as well. That was kind of the beauty of Sigma, that like you could just literally get on the phone and talk to someone for a support related question. And that, I mean, like it's unheard of. It really gives us that level of support for my team and I as well to know that, hey, even if there's something that we don't know, we know we can get someone in to help us right away. Sigma has been so instrumental in getting us reporting and feedback on like the pulse of our uh, product data and our sort of data tech stack. I think internally we use it quite a bit. And so it's helped me uh, and my teams fundamentally change how we monitor cost uh, with, of, of our CDW, of the performance of our warehousing. Um, so it's really helped optimize the tech stack today. I would say it's probably your best option to have a, a truly cloud-hosted or cloud-based focused um, analytics tool. We don't need to force uh, what we think is best on the user. We can have the user tell us what they think is best and kind of meet them where they are with their skill set. Python is, our, is, is a development standard a lot like SQL. Its inclusion into a BI tool is really advantageous for us because now um, a developer doesn't have to go out into another um, you know, like clients or, or anything like that to, to manage. And so its inclusion in Sigma is, is welcome. And um, we're really excited to try to apply it to a bunch of the use cases that we have.